What's going on guys? My name is Tabari. Welcome back to pre Exotics. Exotics. Uh, today, I'm going to be upgrading my black milk. So I'm going to do a tent, a tub uh, enclosure upgrade. So I'm going to show you guys how I do that. And we're going to turn one basic ordinary tub into one dope, awesome reptile enclosure. So stay tuned. all right let's go ahead and get this going this is the old tank as you can see i have my milk in or tub i should say there's a larger tub we're gonna get them into first things first we're gonna go ahead and get the get outdoors go and get out there go chase down those natural things you want in your in your enclosure i found this really dope dope stick i kind of like the way this looks i think this will work perfect for what i'm gonna do so just make sure uh, you bake everything and make sure you treat it or not treat it but make sure you kill everything that might be alive in it by baking it or placing it in a bleach solution now here we are back home make sure you have a soldering iron and then i baked the wood already and i broke it in half so you kind of see what i'm going for i'm using the inside of the lid to kind of do a hardscape and figure out where i'm going to put everything and where i want to actually go with this so i actually found this uh it's not a toilet paper roll roll it's actually a roll from like a gift wrapping uh gift wrapping paper it's really sturdy though so i'm going to use this to try to implement like a tunnel i think i want to go like do like a 3d kind of landscape to give them things to climb over climb through and climb around and climb under as well so i think he's going to really appreciate this and uh yeah we'll see how we do it don't be afraid to get creative man just if it doesn't work scratch it try something else put the sticks a different way to find something that you like and as you can see it was kind of hard for me to do it all with one hand but that's pretty much what i'm going for trying to get the sticks into the wood uh, not the sticks into the wood trying to get the sticks into the pot i'm gonna use the pot as like a natural kind of hide it was a cave kind of thing so that's what i came up with there just making sure everything fits I want to make some put some live plants in there so i went ahead and cut up this pot though some planted it propagated it hopefully he won't dig around too much before they get their get their roots but if if he does oh well now here's a hard part cutting out this hole in the lid was really hard the screen i actually cut out from an old uh old screen tank i had a screen top i had from an old tank i just cut that out make sure you burn the side so it's not too rough you don't you want to cut your snake and the edge of the screen is super sharp i ended up cutting myself as you can see right there it doesn't look like much, but that that thing hurt. <laughs> so next thing you got to do, we got to glue this thing down so that way your stink doesn't get out. So I used a lot of glue. I used like four or five layers. I'm talking about I went through at least six glue sticks on this thing just to make sure everything was like glued down securely and there's no way he could pop it out and be able to sneak out and be gone. Because if I I would, whew, I'd have a bad day if I woke up my, my milk sink, especially my black milk sink was gone. So that's the final thing there. As you can see, I use a ton of glue i'm not gonna cuss but i use a lot of glue <laughs> just to make sure everything was good nice and secure make sure everything looks good mix let it dry and yeah pretty pretty excited so far so good play a little music here for you guys so you just don't have to hear my boring voice there's my puppy in the back being a good girl all right so here we go to the tube i'm trying to do i try to put the tube on the ground first and i put the soil on top of it just to kind of hide it and blend it in so that way like I said, it gives him like a 3D kind of 3D kind of environment. So he can go over it, he can go under it, he can go through it if he wants to. But it kind of just makes it look natural, you know? I kind of like it. Like another element for him to explore and, you know, do stink things in, whatever it stinks do. <laughs> so here it is now all fully covered. As you, as you can see, you can't even see it anymore. I, I really, I'm really happy how that came out. The vines I took from my uh, plant when after I got done cutting it up, I just threw them in there. If they rot or anything, I'll definitely pull them out. But for now, I like the way the, the green looks against the brown, the nice natural contrast. I use a little bit of sphagnum moss too, just to kind of break up the coloration and make it look as natural as possible. So pretty happy on how, how everything's turning out so far. And I got the Charlie Brown bowl from the dollar store. Pro tip, go to the dollar store. Get your stuff from the dollar store, it's so cheap. <laughs> All right. So here's this old one. That's when he's still inside. We're getting ready to put him out now. As you, as you can see, the, the substrate gets dry a lot quicker in this smaller enclosure. So in this bigger one, I'm hoping that uh, the humidity can stay up a little higher because he does like high humidity since, you know, he's from Costa Rica in the mountain area, the cloud rainforest. So this one, this should be a lot better for him. And go ahead and spray him down at least like once or twice a day. So he's definitely getting all the moisture that he needs. And then don't mind the alien in the back. That's Bob. <laughs> 
put the lid on as you see how much glue i use i use a lot of glue do not be shy with that glue use as much glue as you need and that's just water on the on the interior that's not glue all the glue is only on the outside of the perimeter and then I, I pretty much had everything i needed this is the uvb light i had so i put that on there just for the plants mainly and then to give them a day night cycle of course i mean that always helps as well this light's on the timer so it turns on and off uh, every eight hours uh yeah but i'm pretty excited I'm, I'm loving how this thing came out i mean it's pretty cheap the tub alone was probably like 12 bucks tops i already had the light so i'd saved a lot of money there substrate was about like 10 bucks and then dollar store for everything else and the plant was i mean i already had the plant uh, i think the most important thing about this was a snake <laughs> but yeah I'm, I'm loving it i love how it turned out so all right that's it hope you guys liked it man uh i think my milk really really likes it or, stop that i'm not saying really really anymore <laughs> All right, guys, so that'll do it for this week's edition of Pre-Road Exotics. If you guys uh, like it, let me know how you guys, what you guys think about my my ideas and how everything turned out down in the uh, comments below. Uh, I think my black milk will really like it. It's a bigger upgrade for him, so he can actually stretch out, you know, keep it nice and moist. And the good thing about the black milks is that, like I said, they don't really need any heat, so I don't need a hot heat lamp or I might put a might put a, a heat mat on the bottom. I don't know. That's to be debated. That's to be debated, though. We'll see how I figure it out. Uh, as always, like and subscribe. Thank you, guys. Appreciate all my 50 subscribers now. I just hit 50. So, hey, shout out, shout outs. You guys are awesome. You guys rock. And to one person who left me a comment about what we have, where we got these, uh, these labels from, these labels actually got these from Walmart. I think they're about like $5 for the pack. Uh, if you go to like your arts and crafts section, you could probably be able to find them. Then you just get like a white pen, that, a white out pen that can like write on it. But yeah, they worked out really good and we love them. So we'll probably be using these for the rest of our animals. But yeah, you guys stay safe. Take care. I'm out.